Hola, hola, hola. Hey, Annie. Hey, Faye. You guys are right on it. Was I that late? I think I was only like, I was only one minute late. So I wasn't too bad today. I was trying to uh, play a little bit of music in the background since it's just me in the room and not my husband with me today. So, you know, I needed something to kind of like get me into the groove of things of talking to myself to the internet. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I am excited. I've been staring at this makeup that's been sitting on my table for like legit over a week. And I'm like, I need to touch and play and makeup and swatch things and put something on my face. I think I haven't put makeup on my face. It's definitely been over a week. Definitely been over a week. So, um, yeah, so I need to do that. And especially since all these sales are like, hola, mommy. All these sales are seriously um, just kind of getting to me because it's like giving you that like FOMO type of thing. So I was like, okay, you just bought some stuff. Use the stuff that you haven't played with yet before you purchase anything else. So that's definitely what I'm trying to do and everything. Hey, hola, sweetie. This is my baby right here. <laughs> Faye, Annie. So today what I want to do is I want to do mostly affordable makeup. I think I have close to an entire face of makeup. Oh. Faye, is Midas Cosmetics consider, considered affordable makeup? Because I am going to be using that. And I think it's kind of affordable. This was kind of an affordable palette. It was like $30. I might be like mid-range though, you now that I come to think of it. Well, we're going to do what we do. We're going to give this one an exception today. And we're going to try this out. This is also, this is a collaboration by Neon MUA. If you guys don't know him, he's such a great YouTuber. He has these beautiful looks on his chocolate skin. Oof looks so good against him and he does like graphic liners and like colorful neon makeup um really nice super nice personality uh and he reposted me a couple times um when i was like purchasing stuff or commenting so he's he's really really nice um well that i've seen on the internet but yeah yeah i i'm hoping that this works like i'm looking at the pans i haven't swatched it yet but just looking at the pans it looks promising i think that it should work i know the lights are probably drawing it out a little uh making it washed out a little bit but i think it should work maybe we can build it up if not i do have the elf little bite size ones that we can throw on top if we need to like mangle it a little bit and then uh i have been dying to try this cotton candy palette for like the longest we were just talking about this in the group Look how pretty that is. You guys know I love my purples. Oh my goodness. And they got this blurple shade right there. Yeah. Sugar Plum, Sugar Plum, Sugar Plum is that girl. I really like that. So I can't wait to swatch these. I haven't touched these either. You know what you guys don't understand? It's been killing me to not put my fingers in makeup that I know I'm gonna film. <laughs> it really is. Uh, let's see, what else did I get? Oh, I got a new foundation. Well, this is new to me, not new to, to you know, coming out new, but the L'Oreal Age Perfect Radiant Serum Foundation with sunscreen in it. I thought this looked really good. A lot of people had really positive things to say about it. And it seems like a tinted moisturizer more so, uh, or tinted sunscreen, which I enjoy that a lot. That's like my favorite type of thing to wear. And I've worn it once. I've worn it once. It was a little bit too dark for me because I have not been getting any sunshine, you know, but it's cool. And then I went and got the J-Cat concealer because uh, Bethany <laughs> kept raving about J-Cat stuff. And but I, I'm telling y'all, I'm not sure if it's going to work. I was thinking it was going to work and I was going back and forth. This is in cappuccino. But look at the bottle to me but when I swatched it on my arm it dried down a lot darker so I'm hoping that it dries down darker and it's not too bad uh what was the other thing I got oh I got these like little prism ones and these are kind of like super shop moussey shadows so pretty and metallic though oh my goodness all right what else do I have over here I have some elf stuff that's kind of I've used before um Oh, but this is something for new from Elf. I got the wax pencil. It's called the Shape and Say Wax Pencil and Clear. 
And I think that this might be a dupe for the Fenty Rihanna wax pencil that she just put out for like $20 or something. The only difference is hers has a toothbrush brush on your um on the end. And I think this may not have a spoolie. I'm not sure. I have to see if maybe it's on the opposite side. So we'll open that up. And then Milani came out with these new uh, Stylo Microblading Pen Brows. And this reminds me of the ABH pen marker thing that just came out. So I'm thinking like, you know, maybe these two are dupes of the ABH and the Fenty one. So we'll try those out today. I'm a little scared because it's a marker and I'm like real chill natural with my brows most of the time. So we shall see. Hopefully I don't have like super, super dark, dark, dark eyebrows at the end of this thing, you know? Who's it? Oh, hey, Eeyore. So, yeah. And it, I know you guys have uh, been watching my mom's channel. And uh, I told my mom that you guys were getting, um, uh, um, were, I told my mom that you guys were getting inspo from her videos and wanting to buy. I think Christine was saying that she wanted to get a fireplace because of my mom, <laughs> which was funny. So yeah, my mom will definitely do that with her decorating videos. If you guys don't know that, it's more girl here on YouTube. But um, yeah, all right, so we're gonna get started. I wanna put the e.l.f. putty eye primer. Oh, you guys are not gonna believe this. Remember how I've been like losing my mind looking for that ABH white primer for my eyelids? You're not gonna believe that I found it today. Where is it? I found it today. I could not believe it. I have been searching for this for like two months now. Dude, do you know it was sitting here? Let me get it. It was sitting up here the whole time in my little eyebrow thingy. I don't know why it was in the eyebrow thing, but it was. But I was like, are you serious? Are you serious? I feel betrayed, friend. I feel betrayed. He did not let me know. So, yeah. That was up there. I just happened to find it out of the blue today. So I was excited about that. But we're going to use the the kind of, I guess it's kind of a dupe for that maybe. And it's the eye primer from e.l.f. I want these purples and pinks to really have a chance to pop. I should have put a mirror over here. Why didn't I? Oh, are this, is there a mirror in this? Ah, there's a mirror in the BH palette. Yes. Hey, Mo. Thank you. Yeah, I got scissor happy again, and I cut off like another two inches. <laughs> and my husband was like, whoa, you doing all right? I was like, yeah, I'm fine. You know, I just getting frustrated because it started growing out into that weird awkward stage so I had to like had to like put it back I had to put it back oh no be careful please you guys have been having some crazy weather over there in the midwest I'm sorry that sucks between everybody's having crazy weather the west coast they're having fires we're having hurricanes like crazy the midwest is having tornadoes like nothing 2020 is just a wrap like let's just start over 2021, let's just do it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime my lids and I will swatch these before I get started, but I want to at least give my eye primer a chance to uh, kind of sink in here. Does anybody else use this one? I don't hear a lot of people talking about this. I think I heard What's her name? Is it Andrea Matigliano? I think I heard her talking about this and I ended up purchasing it because it had, there was like an Elf sale not too long ago. And y'all know Elf is having a crazy 60% off today. You guys, you guys, I don't know why all of these daggone sales are coming out. I feel personally attacked by all of them. I, you know, I give them my coins all the time. There's no reason why they got to keep coming for me day in and day out, you know? Let's see my order from L. Yeah, storm season sucks, sucks, sucks. You're not gonna get it. <laughs> yeah, Annie, go ahead, lecture her, lecture her. It's supposed to be Faye's supposed to be on a on a low buy right now. So she told us we're allowed to yell at her. <laughs> All right, so that's good. We're gonna let that sink in. And then let's see what these swatches look like. I'm so curious. All right. So I'm gonna do the I think I'm gonna start here, go across. Yeah, sorry. I think I'm gonna start here, go across the shimmers, and then go across that way. 
so should I do it this way that way yeah that way should be fine all right so this is fluff Ooh, that looks like a topper shade though. It's kind of, it's kind of thin. Doesn't have a lot of pigment, but it's pretty and metallic. There we go. Ooh, that's pretty. You guys know I love shiny things. See, you feel personally attacked too, right? Hey, Toya, what's up, girl? Who's crying? <laughs> yep. So that's that. Okay, I'm gonna do sugar next. This one's so pretty. It's got like a purpley reflect. They all have like kind of like a, a purple pink undertone to them. It smells pretty good too. Ooh, kind of not like cotton candy, but it definitely has a scent. This next one is swirl. Hey, ooh, she got some pigment. They all have like a kind of glitter. Can you guys see that? I'm trying to work out the camera angles because on StreamYard, you always seem kind of like backwards from where you are. It always kind of throws me off a little bit. Oh, this this one twirl is really soft. The other ones were not as soft. Ooh, she's cute, y'all. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I definitely feel like I can probably build them up and I think I'm going to use a primer a glitter primer like I always do the next one is confection this one seems kind of dry but that's like that lavender color pretty and then let's see sugar plum this is the one I've really been eyeing oh my god look at that it's like that blue purple blurple color periwinkle color yeah she's cute that one might be like the one that I'm going to do. This one is light and airy. These shades are super pigmented for the mattes. Ooh, okay. And then the next one is Carnival. I like the, the impression, the imprint that's on it. Yeah, that pink's dope too. So that's all of the shades right there. You see, is it better? I gotta figure out which way it is. There we go. Yes, these are so pretty. Ooh, all right, I'm so happy. Especially when I found out they were limited edition, when you guys were saying they were limited edition, I'm so hyped that I was able, hey, Fefe, I was so hyped I was able to go ahead and get it. Yeah, Periwinkle's so pretty Um, because I would be sad if I missed out on this. This is really nice, especially since I've heard such good things about it. So let's see what I want to do for a brush. You guys know I have like brushes out the yin yang here. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Something fluffy. Can I find? Oh, so this brush is a synthetic brush, but it's super soft and it's by the brand called Araceli, which is a Mexican, I think she's Mexican and Cuban. Um, so it's a, Lat a Latina brand and her brushes are so cute. I don't know about the makeup. I haven't tried any makeup, but I've tried a bunch of her brushes that I've gotten in subscription boxes. Super cute. I'll make sure to link them below. Uh, I think they're like pretty like $12, $13. They're not super, super expensive, but they are really, really cute though. Let's see. What do we want to start off with guys? Do we want to start off with sugar plum or do we want to start off with confection? So here is sugar plum and that's confection which one should we start off with the purpley one or with the the light looking pinky one? Oh yeah my mom did get the rare beauty i was telling everybody that you went and got it and that i felt like you were personally attacking me because i didn't have my rare beauty stuff as well so i think i'm gonna go ahead and do confection first you just put that like all in the crease Ooh, okay. Well, it's definitely showing up, which is great. Super pretty. 
purple, I think. <laughs> confection. Oh, I did start with confection. It's pretty. Like, it definitely has the purple undertone of a pink, which is, like, my favorite. Yeah, it looks really nice. I like that a lot. What do you guys think? I think that shows up bomb. I wonder how it would have showed up without the white base. I think it still probably would have showed up, but maybe not as vibrant as this, though. Yeah, this is cute. Yeah, I love these colors all together. They're so pretty. Thanks, Toya. It is cute. It smells so good. I mean, it smells like candy, but like I can't pinpoint what candy because it, it's not like cotton candy. At least to me, it doesn't smell like cotton candy. It smells like something, though. Some type of candy I can't think of. And I'm not going to be that person that goes, it reminds me of something from my childhood because I hate when people say that. <laughs> I know that's low-key mean, but I just can't stand that when people are like, oh, my God, this reminds me of something from my childhood. It's like, oh, my goodness. Especially if the person's like 15 and they're saying that, it drives me bonkers. You don't use a white base. You know, I know a lot of people don't. And sometimes I'll use this one, which is kind of like a regular base is the KVD Beauty one. And what's the other one? I have a clear, I have two clear ones that I'll use um, and they're okay. But I want to give all my shadows a fighting chance because I'll be pissed if I spent money or if I spent time because eyeshadows takes the longest amount of time. So I want that to look as popping as possible, you know? So I think, I think I'm actually going to put Sugar Plum on the lower lash line. I think I'm going to put Light and Airy, this color, in the outer corner. Mmm. Yeah, that was a good idea. Can you guys see that? That is super vibrant. So I think this is still available on Ulta and BH. So if this color story is like one that you guys really like, I wouldn't sleep on this. This is super pigmented. So um, I don't know if you guys know, I'm a big like supernatural, vampire, werewolves, all that type of stuff fan. And I have been obsessed with Vampire Diaries and with the originals. So I'm so dumb, like, well, not dumb, but I just didn't know that the originals was a spinoff of Vampire Diaries. And I remember being like, Vampire Diaries is so corny. They're just, you know, mimicking Twilight. Um, but I was watching it because I was looking for something to watch. And I got so obsessed with the originals and like sucked into the storyline to the point where I was like, bawling crying my eyes out every time a character would die like I, I took it as like it was a family member like passing away like my husband was looking at me like I was a crazy person and so once I got to the end I was there's a spinoff after that one that continues it with like one of the characters as who becomes like a main character and then I found out that there was like a prequel to it and I was like oh my god so then I went back to the prequel which is Vampire Diaries and it's not as good as the originals, but it explains so much stuff from the originals that I didn't understand. And I was like, this is what was going on this whole time. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So that was really good. And then I'm like telling my husband blow by blow, like what's going on and, da -da -da -da, and how these people died. How is the show going to keep on going? And he's like, no, it's going to keep on going. Don't worry. So then um, I was just, I'm. The after that when I was like, oh, my God, so this is what happened. He's like, yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Did you watch this show already? And he just walked out the room really quickly. So he had been low-key, had watched the whole show, like, already knew everything. And had me thinking that I was the only person who liked the show. So that means he had watched it a long time ago. So I'm telling you, these guys, they were trying to get you. Had had me act like I'm the only one that likes vampires and all that stuff. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, the ABH primer. You know, only thing about 
I like the ABH primer a little bit better because I have oily eyelids and I feel like it dries my eyelids down a lot more and makes it a lot more smoother. But the uh, putty primer helps it like stick a little bit better, which is like you got to kind of go with which one you're looking for. But I feel like the oils in my eyelids will um, kind of like break this down more than they do the ABH one, if that makes sense. Right. And oh, so you watch Vampire Diaries too. OK, yeah, yeah. So it's so good. I'm on season five. I think I'm on season five going into season six right now. And these seasons are long, y'all. Remember seasons used to be like 14 episodes? These seasons are like 30 episodes. I'm like, what? This is a whole real year y'all going on right now. This is crazy. Don't y'all have writer strike and all that stuff in the middle? We got to give them breaks and everything? I don't know. It'd be a, it's a lot going on in these things. But that is looking really good. You guys see that? That purple's popping, y'all. I I can't believe how vibrant that looks. Wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So let's see. I think I am going to put, do I want to put twirl? I think I'm going to take swirl on the outer part and then twirl on the rest of the lid and then put fluff in the inner corner right there. So I'm going to put some Glitter primer is just the NYX glitter primer. And just put that all over my lids. Ooh, I need a flat shader brush. That was too flimsy. This is actually the Lunar Beauty one that came in my palette. I really like that. Thanks, Eeyore. Oh, see, some of the stuff that goes on in the show, though, I'm like, this came on regular television? It's a lot of stuff that's, like, not even borderline. That's, like, super, like, whoo, this is a lot for television. It looks like borderline, like, Skinamax at nighttime, Showtime after dark type stuff that's going on. And it's supposed to be, like, a teenager-based show. Well, for, for a lot of the Vampire Diaries, it's a teenage-based show. But all they show is, like, drinking and getting high and all of this stuff. And I was like... How is this a good show on television? Nobody was boycotting the show. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> but, you know, that's the mom and me coming out, you know. But, yeah, it's it's it's, a, it's okay. It's The show has grown on me. Some of the characters are a little bit annoying. But there's supposed to be teenagers, so, you know, that makes sense. But, um, oh, so I'm just doing... The glitter primer is like, it's a cut crease. Like I don't do cut creases with concealer. I just use my glitter primer. And then I just take the same brush and use that to apply. Ooh, this is cute. I really like that. That's a pretty color, like a raspberry color. And that really pops. That's cute. Cool. All right, let's put this twirl on it. Some of the shadows are a lot looser packed than others. And this is why I do my eyes first. Because of all this fallout. Can you guys see that? How's that look? Oh, you know, I never watched Dawson's Creek. It was on the C different roles for the CW. <laughs> Do you see why? <laughs> <That thing. laughs> yeah, these are coming out pretty vibrant looking. Yeah, this is this is really nice. I'm pleasantly surprised and happy of how this is looking. Um, the shimmers are a little bit crumbly though, now that I'm like getting into it. Oh, she's cute though. She's cute though. Oh, I like that. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, it's so sparkly. I love that. Can you guys see that? Cool. All right, I'm going to do the other side. See, this makes me laugh in a live. This is the first time I've done eyeshadow on a live because normally I would be like, do one eye and then cut to the next eye. You don't get to see me struggle a second time. But <laughs> in a live, you have to like, you know, deal with me going through the whole thing. So I'm sorry if it's redundant. I'm really loving this purple though. Oh my goodness, it looks so cute. Does anybody else do this for their cut creases? Use glitter primer instead of concealer? Our cut crease is gonna be over soon because I mean, to me, this is just packing on a shimmer on a lid, not necessarily a cut crease. But I feel like I see less and less people talking about cut creases. At least maybe the people I'm watching at least. Um, I think people are a little bit over that. Am I doing this the right way? Okay, yeah. That's so pretty. Yay, good, good, good. Oh, so you do the same thing and just blend it in? Yeah. And I'm actually listening to the Vampire Diaries soundtrack right now, like just super, super low. So it doesn't mess with like the copyright. Hopefully you guys can't really hear it. Oh my God, this looks so pretty. Ooh, I mean, it definitely gives you like sponge sugar vibes and I, I'm definitely here for it. It's so pretty. Just trying to Make sure I get this purple all the way in. Make sure I don't have too much of that like white really peeking out. Yeah, it's sparkly. I think I like that. Oh yeah, them shimmers are shimmin. <laughs> Let's see. No cut creases. You know, I've tried to do it with concealer, but um, yeah, it's just the concealer just breaks it down. Like, I don't understand how people can do it and it'll last. I feel like it's I don't know. I'm, I know I'm definitely not using too much, but for some reason for me, I think my lids are just too oily to be able to do it with a concealer. But yeah, this is the way I do it. You Oh, same thing. Yeah, my eyelids are just so oily. This palette, oh yeah, this is way bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Like, okay, so here is my phone, well, my other phone, and you can see, this is pretty big. I'm trying to think, do I have another palette? Oh, okay, here's the Jay Kissa palette in this. They're pretty much the same size. So yeah, I thought this was gonna be like a, a 8 p.m. like mini palette, it's definitely not. These are like big, these are big, these are, Maybe not like how the small 25 millimeter, are these like maybe 30 millimeter sizes? So yeah. Oh yeah, everybody with the oily eyelids. Hey! Oh, so you did order the palette. Good, good, good. The, oh yeah, that's right. We see, me and Annie, we have a thing for um, all of these gifts and the Shack Shimmy is our favorite for shimmers. You know, those shims got a shim, baby. They got a shim. All right, so that's all I'm doing for the top part. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the rest of my face and then we'll come back and do the lower lash line. So I think what I wanna do is ordinarily I would uh, do primer, but I don't have a primer that's drugstore. And I've been using this bougie one that I got in the influencer one. It's really nice, but it's so perfume. Like it's, it's crazy. You bet. Listen, we're, we're going to try to get it to you. I know it's not fair down there, but we'll see if we can find one to give to you. Shaq memes are the best. Yeah. 
Pur you can never have you can never have too many purples. Somebody explain to Christine. You can never have too many purples. Say it with me, class. You can never have too many purples. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. I thought this was going to be more of a serum. Um, and it's supposed to be like a global age-defying skincare perfect skin creator. Man, this thing is so strong, but it does make your, um, oh, I got like a notification. It does make your skin look really nice underneath foundation. I've worn it maybe like a handful of times. No, maybe, maybe less than that. Maybe like three times I've tried it. And it's not bad. It definitely feels like a moisturizer when you put it on, but it feels like super silicone. And I do think it has dimethicone in it. Um, I just threw the box away, but I'm pretty sure there's dimethicone in it. So there are silicones in this that give you that like silky smooth skin for your makeup. All right. So what do we want to do? Do we want to do foundation next? Let's do foundation next. And what am I using? What am I wearing? Oh, I'm going to use my BK Beauty brush. So this is super liquidy. I feel like you have to like kind of shake it. Oops. I feel like you have to kind of shake it up a little bit. Yes. See, <laughs> the tones are different. That's right. Oh, the oh, that's the green one I think everybody was talking about that was that was sold out. See, I can, I like green, but I'd rather have green in a palette with purple or with blue. Like, I don't just want a plain green one. The only one I have that's like all green is the Elf Bite Size one that's like all green. And it's okay. I like it, but you know, I don't wear green like a super, super, super much, but I do like green eyeshadow. All right. So let's go ahead and put this on. Now see how much darker <laughs> that is. And I put a lot on. But this has like light to medium coverage, which is nice. But yeah, you can definitely see I got a summer shade for last year's summer, not this year's summer. I don't know why I think I have color to my skin when I actually don't. All the melanin has been drained because I haven't been outside getting all of that glorious vitamin D that I normally would be getting. But once I blend it in, I don't think you can super, super tell. A green blue palette. Yeah, you know what? If B I wish BH had those like as singles that you could buy and like do a build a palette with these. I think this would be bomb. If you could just like buy a plain one of these and then be able to just like fill them in with the shadows that you wanted from the different waffle ones, from the different um, candy ones. I think that that will be so good. Like you could put cotton candy one in there. You could put the pistachio one in there, like whatever you want it to build your eight pan palette. I think that would be so cool. And if BH was smart, you would do that because everybody likes these. I don't know why you're always messing with your coins. Don't give us the mediocre all year round and then goodness on the limited edition. We want the goodness all year round. Stop playing games. A blue pink purple palette. Oh, that would be good. The biconic palette. <laughs> that Morphe. Oh, yes. I can't do my mom likes Morphe, but I'm not a big Morphe eyeshadow person only because they're so daggone huge. I've actually only used them once. I think, mom, I think I used it when we were doing your makeup for your channel one time. And that was like the only time that I used it. All right. But you guys look at this finish. She's glowing. She looks like she drinks water. She looks like she eats all her vegetables. She looks like she's living life. Look at this. She looks like she just went on vacation last week. That's what that glow looks like. Yes, yes. Woo! My husband's giving me the eye across the, <laughs> across the room. Did you guys see the picture that I posted of me and my hubby that we got commissioned? Oh my God. You guys haven't seen it go to my instagram it's sd chica on instagram and it is so cute 
The person who did it is um, called M uh, Muna Galleries, I think it is. I'll link her below too. She's a woman black owned business and she basically does like these artistic variations of pictures. Super, super cute. So if you guys are like wanting something like that, you guys might like it, but it was really, really adorable. So I'm just like giving my skin a second to kind of settle down and dry down a little bit. I don't feel like this dries down fully, but for me, I'm not a big powder person. I can get away with it, but I will put powder on today because I do have an e.l.f. Halo Glow setting powder. I've used this one time and it's good so far. Uh, but again, I'm not a big powder person, but you know, for a drugstore, this is not the worst one I've ever tried. Definitely not the worst one I've ever tried at all. It doesn't make my skin look super dry or anything. Let's see. I have a powder brush. Where are we at? Okay, I'm gonna use this powder brush and just lightly. Oh no, I didn't put concealer on. Okay, you guys, keep me on track. What you doing here? All right, so we have that JCAT concealer and I feel like with how dark this foundation is, it's gonna look, oh my God, this is gonna look so bad. No. Oh my goodness. Oh, and you're, cert I've never tried Certify. I have been wanting to. Right, we want good stuff all year round, right, Toya? All right, so we're gonna pray on this, okay? Pray that this shade does not make me look crazy. Stop catfishing us, J-Cat. Cappuccino is what we order, cappuccino is what we want. We don't want no no creme latte, okay? No, no milky latte, we want cappuccino, all right? So let's see. So let's do, I've got mad glitter under my eyes though. Oh well, it kind of is what it is at this point. But let's see, um, should I do the lower lash line before I do the concealer? Mm, mm, mm. You know what, we're gonna do the lower lash line first because I feel like I'm not gonna even have to put this much on there because I'm gonna be covering a lot underneath my eyes. All right, let's do that first. Okay, so lower lash line, what didn't we use yet? We didn't use Carnival, we didn't use Sugar, and we didn't use Sugar Plum. Okay, so let's go with Sugar Plum first, which is that Periwinkle Blurple color. J Catfish. <laughs> yes. That is it. I'm telling you, these brands we get in you, especially when you're buying stuff online, like I can't go in source, so I have to buy everything online. And when you say you are a cappuccino, bring me cappuccino, okay? That's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this sugar plum, and drag that along the lower lash line. And I did, oh yeah, I got an eyeliner from, I can't remember what company, is that Essence maybe? I'll grab it in a second. But it's like, a, instead of a white liner, it is one of those like uh, beigey liners so that it doesn't look super, super stark. Ooh, that's so pretty. Ooh, I really like that. They did a really good job on curating these palettes with these colors. I know the photos online are really bad. For exactly. I just don't understand like the way technology is right now and everything, like there just shouldn't be any excuses anymore. And then they need to do better with the swatches and stop Photoshopping swatches on people and just use the real swatches. Like, come on. Stop, you know, just, just a lot of it is just unnecessary. It really is just unnecessary. I really like this. I think I'm going to have to use this the next time. Oh, so we have our live coming up this Saturday that we normally do for our pub crawl. And I am going on an eight like I normally do. And I'm going to actually be doing um, an eye look from the new Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette that I got. So I've only swatched it and it's so freaking pretty. So I cannot wait to be able to actually put that on my eyes. I've been holding off on that one as well, which is why I really don't need to buy anything else. Like I keep saying, I have so many eyeshadow palettes. 
Ooh, this is so pretty. What do you guys think? I think it's definitely a look. It's definitely a look. All right, I'm gonna take that pink carnival color that we haven't used yet. Oh, geez. This camera angle, there we go. This one right here, and I'm gonna use that to go. But I hope that I'm back. I am recording from my phone right now. But yeah, just using that to blend out that purple color. Ooh. This is really pretty. Thank you. This purple um, pink combo is really bomb. You know what? If they had like a blue in here, I think that would really have set this off. But this is what we're looking like so far. Yeah, this is looking so cute. And I'm just going to bring it out kind of far. Yeah, I think so, too. I really like this color. This is so pretty. All right, and then I think I'm gonna take the color sugar, which is like that silvery purpley color, and then put that along the inside area. Let me get a detailer brush. And have you guys tried this Milani Fruit Fresh um, Make It Last spray? It smells so good. This one is the Dragon Fruit Peach scent. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like a like one of those like fresh fruit cocktails that you get. Oh, it smells so good. All right, so I'm getting that sugar color and then I'm just gonna spray my brush and put that underneath as well. Ooh, that's really pretty. Yeah, it's definitely like a dual chrome. It has like a pink, blue, lavender flip to this. Ooh, I really like that. This is the one I was thinking was gonna look like icy, but it actually has like a lavender flip to it. And I guess I didn't really see it. It's this one right here. Yeah, ooh, super pretty. And to put a little bit more of that fluff. Just attacked myself with the brush. Brush came out in karate style. I wasn't ready. There we go. Oh, this is definitely giving me like fairy vibes and I love it. This is so pretty. Mm, if I wasn't so lazy, I would put my purple lashes on with this, but I can't be bothered. <laughs> Not today. But yeah, I think that's what we're going to do for that so far. All right. Let's us do hmm. all right let's do bronzer highlight blush and then we'll try and do that eyebrow thing how are we looking on time okay i want to give it like another 20 minutes or so i don't want to be like super super long but yeah definitely want to at least get the bronzer and all that stuff done um what are we using for bronzer So many brushes. Which one shall I use? Can I use this one? No. 
I normally use this brush for bronzer. So let's just wipe this off. And this is just a Real Techniques brush. Yes, lavender duochromes are so bomb. Hey, welcome back. Thank you, thank you. So, all right, so we're going to try, I guess, the contour first, which is like right here. We'll see. I don't know if that's going to show up on me as a contour, though. It looks so close. Well, let me, my bad, let me um, swatch these first. So here's the contour shade, which looks like it's my actual skin color, like exactly. I don't even know if you guys can see that. And then let's see, here's the bronzer. Now the bronzer looks like it's gonna work. That contour is definitely not doing anything for me though. At least not really. I might just use those together and mix them together and do that. And then the blush, this is what I'm most excited about. Ooh, cause it looks super glowy. And like a peach undertone to it. This blush looks so bomb. Ooh, she's glowy. I like that. All right. And then here is the, oh, the highlight is creamy. I'm sorry. My bad. I wasn't ready. This one looks kind of glittery though, but it's like definitely a lot softer. The other ones, this feels like I can like press in the pan like putty. Like it feels like a super shock or like a um, physician's formula one. But those are them swatched on my hand arm, my arm, not my arm hand. Okay, so let me dip dab in both of these and see. Can we see a difference? And also I'm wearing a dark foundation so oh, I think I can see some more I definitely don't think this contour is going to do anything for me but the bronzer yeah okay I like the bronzer I think the bronzer will definitely work especially when I'm wearing a foundation that's a, actually my skin tone and not as dark as this is And oh, you guys, I'm wearing those earrings that we had, I had posted and showed you that I bought a whole bunch of. I got these from Amazon and I'm completely not even using a contour anymore. I'm just using the <laughs> bronzer now, but I got these from Amazon in like a huge pack. Um, and so far, I really like them. They're really cute. Trying to chisel out this under neck here because this is like too many cookies and cake under here that my doctor told me I can't have anymore. So hopefully that'll be gone once I go back to my strict diet. Yes, I put bronzer in a lot of different places. Yeah, I hope they would too. Especially um, this bronzer, I really like. I think the bronzer gives me a nice warmth to it. And I really like that a lot. So let's see. Hey, Sharon, how are you? Where are the cakes in the... Thank you. Thank you, Eeyore. I appreciate that. All right, so let's try this blush and see what's going down. See if we can make this work. Oh, it's pigmented. Oh my, see? So I always start my blush up here because I like to do blush draping. So I always kind of start it there and then work my way down. Um, It looks like it might be a little bit too light for me. It looks more like a highlight than actual blush or like a blush topper maybe. I mean, I can see it a little bit. 
but I like my blush to be like really pigmented. But let's see, can we build it up? I think we can build it up. Oh yeah, you can see it now. It's like a really pretty peachy with like a gold undertone. Yeah, this is really cute. I know all of the blushes look really nice. I do kind of want them. And so all of the um, highlighters look really nice too because even though the one in the Dawn palette, that highlighter didn't look icy either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so we'll see. It would be nice if they did this at sing as singles though. But it gives you a nice glow. It kind of reminds me almost of like Milani's Luminoso. So I like to do like the wave and put blush over my nose. I'll put it on my forehead. I just like blush. But you, I definitely have to build this up. I wonder what it'll look like when I have on my regular shade of foundation. It'll probably definitely show up a lot more. And Definitely looks like it's definitely have like sheen into it because you can see the sheen look. Can you see it all over here? Yeah, you can definitely see the glow. <laughs> all right. So now let's try some setting spray and then I'm going to do the highlighter. Oh, God, I love how that smells. It smells so good. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Last time I was uh, fanning myself with a eyeshadow palette, I smacked myself in the nose. <laughs> so I had to remember not to do that anymore. Oh, wow. You can see the shine on that. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you guys, I forgot to powder my face. <laughs> Remember, I was going to use the powder. And I was like, oh, I'm going to use the concealer. And I was like, oh, wait, I should do my lower lash line. And then I didn't do concealer or <laughs> powder at all. I completely forgot about it. <laughs> I don't even think that I need the concealer now because I put the eyeshadow palette down so much that you can't even tell. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think we we passed the point of no return here. There's no way I can get concealer on top of that. It's the shine. Wow, do y'all see this glow? All right, so let's try the highlighter. Let's see what you got. See what you got. I, even though I really don't know need any more glow, but. Wow. Y'all see that? <laughs> okay. Y'all see this, right? Yes. Okay. All right. This highlight is dope. I like this highlight. Ooh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it was my mistake. This highlighter is pretty good. Yep. Oh, the police have been here? What's been going on? <laughs> okay. Just trying to see if I missed anything. Yeah, the glow is intense. If you don't want glowy products, this might not be for you, but this is, uh, yeah. She is, I'm at, I'm at 100 right now. Usually I try to keep it at about, you know, 98, 99, but I'm definitely at 100 right now. Can't forget, we got to do the bridge of the nose right here. I don't put highlighter down on the nose and on the tip, but just right here where the light would naturally catch is where I like to put highlight. Yes. And underneath my eyebrows. Oh, okay, so let's try out the new eyebrow thing. So this is okay. I want to keep testing it and trying it out on different foundations and see how it is. But so far, 
I like the bronzer and I like the highlight. The blush, I'm a little, I got to see how it looks on a different one. And the contour is not going to work for me. Um, well, at least not on this one. Okay, so now we have these eyebrow products. And now I'm trying to figure out, should I use, I think I should use the marker first and then the wax afterward. I think that will be the best thing to do there. And then do I have just a regular brush? Nope. Um, let's see. Do I have a regular? Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't have a regular brush. So I'll just use my regular eyebrow brush that I have here. And comb these bad boys up. Y'all know I have little caterpillars over my eyes. So. I really don't need anything filled in, but um, every now and then I like to have like some dimension. And as you guys can see, like these are caterpillars. I, I need to uh, trim them up a little bit, but we're not gonna do that today. So, all right, so this one is in soft brown, which might be too light, but because it was a marker, I was scared to get a darker color because I didn't want it to look like crazy, you know? Just didn't want it to look crazy. I figure if we did soft brown, that it would just blend in, especially since I don't like super, super fill in my brows. Goodness, why do they make these things so hard to get into? Okay, here we go, cool. Oh my God, what? Why is this so hard? Why, why am I failing with packaging? Why is this so hard? What? Oh, okay, here we go. I don't know why that was so hard. Oh, it's got a little volley in it for my, the marker. All right, let's do a little swatcheroo and see. So, oh, that definitely shows up on my skin. Oh, it's very, um, very fine. Can you guys see that? It's like a, I think it's like a brush. Yeah, it looks like a brush applicator. You see. Can you see that? So, oh yeah, they definitely like to do their own um, imitation of products. So, all right, let me see if I can scoot in a little more. And I'll start with this one and let's see. Let's, I'll do it at the tip first. It's very like, um, I know it's a marker, but it's not like bleeding out like what I was expecting. And I really like the brush applicator. Ooh, okay. This might be a banger, y'all. This is kind of cute. It's really easy to kind of like just fill in and it doesn't, I'm glad I got this color. I think if I would have got a darker color, it might've been too much for my personal taste. But if you have like jet black hair, then a darker color might be better for you. Oh wow, you could def look you could definitely see the difference already. Crazy, crazy. Yes, please like, please subscribe, please stick around. We do lives and things over here. We do swatches, tan girl swatches over here. Oh, let me guys know. I'm thinking about doing, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Jen Phelps, but she does uh swatches and comparisons where she does like it it um at a 90 degree angle where it's just like looking at her arms on a table and doing swatching. I was thinking about doing quick videos and swatches just so people can under, can get a like a, a quick um, overview of what they look like on tan or medium dark skin. So if you guys think that would be good, let me know and I will start to incorporate some. I just picked up a new, uh, like one of those curvy mounts so I can mount my phone so I can do 90 degree angles. So yeah, I think that that might be something that might be useful. I know a lot of people are always saying they're looking for swatches of things i really like that that's really cute Ooh, that was so super easy and quick too like i literally was like da -da 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 -da, and it wasn't even really like being super exact or, or precise at all and it filled it out really really nice oh y'all that thing was like eight dollars what and that aviation one is like twenty dollars y'all better save your doll hairs stop playing Gotta come on and get this uh this good dupe right here. Ooh, okay. 
I really like it. What do you guys think? You can definitely see the difference. See, he's cute. All right, so let me do this side. Actually, you know what? Let me do the wax so we can have a good like before and after really quick. So I think the wax is just the wax pencil. There's not like a spoolie attached to this. At least I don't see one obviously shown. Oh my God, why is this packaging like being a pain? I swear beauty packaging is like my arch nemesis. It really is. This doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Why are you like this? Thank you. Appreciate you. I'm only on live right now. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay, Toya. I think I'm going to do that then because I think that that would be useful and helpful. All right. So it is just like a wax pencil looking thing. I don't see a spoolie. It has 0 0.04 ounces or 1.4 grams and it comes in clear. I don't I didn't see if there's any other colors. So let's see. I like my brows to stick up. Let's see if that does that. Ooh, it does. It gives me that nice bushy brow. Oh, you guys, I think we got some good dupes right here. That thing was like $3 as compared to Fenty's, which was $20. Big difference. This one's done. This one's not done. Yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to go ahead and finish this brow up really quickly. Just throw that in there. And I'm, I'm like super just like throwing it in. I'm not being precise at all. And it's really easy and kind of user friendly and foolproof, which is dope. A lot of these products do not end up being foolproof like that. I wonder how high this is going to dry out, though. I mean, how long this will be before it dries out. But I like it so far. I think those will be good, too, like when I don't have makeup on. And sometimes I just want to make it have like a little bit more definition in my brows. I think that will look really nice as well. It's weird because on camera it looks darker than it does in person. And then just run the wax through it. This is a good combo together, too. I wish one of them had a spoolie though, but I mean, beggars can't be choosy at these prices though, right? How we looking, how we looking? How we looking? Yeah, $3 is $3. I think they came out nice. I'm a little bit uh, shocked at that, but super happy. All right, cool. We are having some good wins right now. Okay, what else haven't we done yet? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, that liner I was telling you about. So this is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil. It's waterproof and it's in Silky Nude. And instead of it being white, it's like a cream color with like a pink undertone. I think I'm gonna put this in my waterline. I can't talk and do this at the same time, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, see, I think this looks better than it being white because it, it doesn't look so stark. And it's really creamy. It's going in my waterline pretty easily. Can you see the difference? That one has it. That one does it. It's like subtle, but it's nice. Oh, okay. This one also like I got this on sale. It's originally I want to say it's originally three fifty, and I got it on sale for like a dollar seventy nine or something. Ooh, I like that. That just kind of set off the eye look really well. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, okay, let's put some. Ooh. So I have the Fenty um, Burgundy and I know we're trying to do affordable products, but I really want to use this again because I'm wondering if, I feel like it didn't really show. 
Oh, thank you. So I feel like it didn't really show well when I was wearing it the other day. It's the burgundy one in full frontal. So I'm wondering if I should put like a white, uh, put down like a white um, lash primer first and then do it. So I have to go get it. Hang on a second. Hopefully I don't drop anything. You guys haven't seen these. It's a his and hers huggy mugs. They're so cute. So, um, I think I'm going to put down a white lash primer. Oh, let me put my mic back on. Mic check, mic check. One, two, one, two. So, I think I'm going to do that and see how that looks. Because I felt like you just couldn't tell that I was wearing anything. And, and I don't know if I like how the lashes are combed with that. I know it has like that weird, um, the way the brush is, how one side is like flat and you're supposed to be able to um, go ahead and, oops, am I doing this right? You're supposed to be able to go ahead and like push them up with the one side, but I don't know. I don't know if I could really tell the difference. So I'm hoping lash primer will maybe give a, a helping hand here because I really, wanted to see the color all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put the burgundy right over top of the white and see so see how it's like that burgundy color so let's see but i just feel like it's like the way the brush one maybe it's because it's a mini i feel like the the brush one just doesn't doesn't really get my lashes right and I don't have struggle lashes like my lashes are pretty legit but this oh it just doesn't seem like it does much but people really rave about it I don't know about this one I think I could have saved my money on this so with that being said I bought a lash comb from jcat as well because my lashes get clumpy with that mascara and i really want to wear it so trying this out and see if this works okay not bad there we go How's that look? Not too bad. I think that that's much better using that combo of the lash primer and the comb to like rake it through. Hurry up, put that on. And then we can do the lips and then we can get up out of here and I won't hold you guys much longer. Thank you all for tuning in and hanging around while I'm just playing some makeup. I've been having a really rough week. So I really appreciate you guys like showing out your support. It's been really great and awesome. Seems like it works better on this eye. I wonder why. Who knows such things in the world of mascara? Like, why is that that way? There we go. All right, let me do the lower lash line. Roxanne. This was nice. Thank you guys for kind of getting my butt back in action. I really appreciate it. I was like kind of slacking on the YouTube front because I was not having a great week, but hopefully this week will be better. And the jewelry is still out on this mascara though, but I don't know. So far, she's not a banger for me. She's not a banger for me. What do you guys think? She's all right. She's all right. I don't know. So I'm glowing like crazy. So I have two lip options. I've been wearing this pixie one, which is really pretty and nice, but I'm going to wear the Midas Cosmetics 
in the number four. And this is a gloss, right? And if you guys don't know, Midas Cosmetics is an indie brand. Uh, she's an Afro-Latina based in Chicago, I believe. And, ooh. This is cute. Ooh, that's pretty. Thank you. <laughs> All right, let me um do the old trick here. So I don't have any lipstick on my teeth. Because last time y'all didn't tell me I had lipstick on my teeth. I'm watching y'all. Watching y'all. There we go. So it's like a burgundy, coppery, metallic lip gloss, which is really cute. I don't know if it goes with this look, but it's still cute. So I think I might put something purple over top of that. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, I have this one. Oops. This is black radiance and this is in the color 5072 which is like this bluish purpley color and just top that over top of it Ooh, that's cute with the bronze and purple mm, i like that a lot All right. Do we have anything else? Is that it? Did we get to the end? Is it over? I think so. I think we tried everything. We forgot. Well, we forgot the concealer. That was my bad. And we forgot the powder. That was also my bad. But that's because I don't use powder that often, so I kind of forgot. And then I got caught up in the eyeshadow, so I forgot concealer. But it's not the end of the world. But here we are, folks. Here is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for joining in, keeping me company while I just play in some makeup here. I am glowing to the gods right now. I need to go take some pictures before I lose all the sunlight because I want that sunlight to beam on it, right? What does this say? Oh, Sade with lipstick all over her teeth. I remember that. That's old school, Sharon. I remember that. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for joining in. I had so much fun today. It was really good to see my friends in the chat, us hanging out, talking about makeup as per usual. Uh, I have a video coming up in like two days for another part of my concealer hunt series or the Makeup Forever concealer that I've been trying out. So uh, look for that coming up in the next day or so. And then we have our pub crawl on Saturday night. We start at 4 p.m. and we're going all the way to 10 p.m. So we're gonna have six full hours of content from different creators on Instagram and on YouTube. I'll make sure to link everything in the description box so you're able to follow along. But uh, yeah, if that's everything, well, I hope that you guys like this. I hope you subscribe, you stay tuned, you join back another again, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.